Hi, everybody. Mitch Tannenbaum here. Thanks for joining me today. Um, uh, this is a user tip uh, recording. Uh, this is regarding uh, security questions, security answers that many websites ask you for as a way of validating your identity in case you forget your password or whatever. Um, this is prompted, the recording is prompted because the Callaway uh, family of, of uh, golf sports equipment um, had a breach, and amongst the data that was stolen was the security questions, security answers. Now, they haven't said that it was encrypted, so one would assume that it was not encrypted. Um, and so uh, I have a relatively simple uh, solution to dealing with that. Uh, obviously, in the case of if you are uh, had an account on one of the Callaway brand websites, uh, then you need to go change the security answers for any other websites, assuming you even remember where you answered those questions that way. Uh, one of the reasons why we recommend using password managers is because that makes that whole process a lot simpler. You just record the security questions, security answers in the password manager, you don't have to worry about it. So my suggestion, because this has happened so many times, is just to make up answers or said a little more honestly, just lie about it. Because the reality is these websites don't care and they certainly have no reason why you need to give them the correct answers. So, for example, if they ask you where you were born, they don't need to know that you were born in Chicago or St. Louis or Detroit or wherever. They just need an answer, right? And they, you know, this is kind of an easier way to go off and um, get people to provide answers by giving them, a, you know, a question that they remember. Um, maybe, hopefully, they remember where they were born. Uh, but the reality is, you know, if you were born in Chicago, and you say uh, you were born in San Diego, nothing negative is going to happen to you. Uh, just make sure you write down whatever it is that you said in your password manager so that if you need to use it at some time in the future, you will be able to use it. Um, but in addition to that, don't say that you were born in San Diego on every website. Say that you were born in San Diego on one site, you were born in Reno on another site, you were born in Las Vegas on another site, and as long as you just put that, because you'll almost never use that, right? Not like something you need to remember every day. Um, uh, as long as you write that down and put that in your password manager, um, you know, no big deal. There's one exception to that is that when you are filling out applications for certain websites or certain accounts like bank accounts and, and maybe security clearances and stuff like that where they ask you questions like that. Now, they're not going to ask you who was your fourth grade teacher. That's not going to happen. Uh, and if they do, then the rules still apply. But they might ask you where you were born. Um, and in that case, you should tell the truth uh, in that particular case. But uh, that's a minor exception. Um, as always, if you need assistance with this, please let us know. Uh, otherwise, until next time, stay safe. Turnkey Cybersecurity and Privacy Solutions offers the complete cybersecurity program for small to medium-sized businesses. They include everything needed to secure your business and meet compliance requirements. Visit our website at turnkeycybersecurityandprivacysolutions.com to learn more.